In this presentation, we will discuss different types of public accounting firms. Public accounting firms can range in size from a sole proprietor. We have the one C. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course. Each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. CPA that's got the shingle on the wall, the plaque on the wall, and the trusty 10 key two very large types of organizations, organizations that have many different owners, could have thousands of different owners, which we would typically format in the form of partnerships and therefore call them partners and thousands of staff. So we could have CPA firms with one individual that's at one set location up to us uh, firms that are gonna be located in offices around the world for one particular CPA firm, which has offices, of course, around the world. We might want to think about then the size of CPA firms in different types of tier levels. For example, we of course have the big four. These are going to be the largest CPA firms. And when we think about auditing publicly traded companies, if we have a publicly traded company, they will typically be audited by the big four. So in other words, in other words, the big four or the largest CPA firms have close to a monopoly on the largest types of companies that are required to have audits due to be being publicly traded. So that's Deloitte. Ernst & Young, PricewaterhouseCooper, KPMG. One of the reasons for this is that the big four firms are the ones that have the resources in order to audit the largest type of companies because you'll note that of course the largest type of companies are gonna have locations all around the world and it's difficult enough for a CPA firm to handle a company that's gonna have multiple different locations within say the US. If we're talking about uh, types of locations all over the world, especially in, in more uh, difficult places, to have a firm such as something like China, then it's more difficult for smaller firms to compete with the largest big four type firms with regards to the largest types of companies that are gonna have locations all around the world. Also note, however, of course, that the fact that the largest four CPA firms having close to a monopoly on the largest types of companies can give some concern as well because we would think that that's a lot of consolidation of power and control of the top companies being audited by a limited group or having a limited amount of options for uh, the firms that are providing the audits for assurance related to them. Mid-tier, which is gonna be substantially less in size than the big four, but still large firms would be something like BDO or Grant Thornton are gonna be some uh, concepts of the mid-tier firms. And note that mid-tier firms may be able to compete and pick up larger type uh, of clients as well as smaller tier firms could pick up larger types of clients as well by teaming up with different mid-tier or different CPA firms. So in other words, if we were a mid-tier firm and we had different locations around the world, but we didn't have a location in India per se, which might be a place where a, a company that we want to particularly or pick up an audit from has a location in, then we may partner up or try to see if we could partner up with another CPA firm that has a location there and in so doing, uh, gather the resources necessary to make some type of audit. But of course, to do that, we'd have to uh, have some agreement across different CPA firms, which is a little bit more difficult. Whereas if we're talking about large firms, the big four firms having offices in more areas and can directly go to more locations, it's a little bit more streamlined and you would think more cost effective in that way as well. But just note, mid-tier firms can uh, compete in that way, even if they're not as large and they don't have as many resources or locations by basically grouping up. And then we have regional and local, which could be substantially smaller. So we might have different firms that just operation in a separate, in a certain location, a certain region, a certain state, a certain location.